Welcome to the Silicon University channel. This video's topic is defaulting to a CAD coordinate system. So in the creation of your solid cam part, you've got many different options in terms of when you're inside solid cam, but what are the options when you first open the solid cam file? Well, if we take a look at our solid cam settings, you'll see that when you actually first open up your solid cam part, you've got a couple options to automatically define your Mac one position one. So if we go to automatic part definition, definition of coordinate system, you can actually use a bunch of different options in here. You can actually default it to the top corner, the top center, or you could use the CAD origin from your incoming SolidWorks file, or in this case, in today's topic, we're gonna to be talking about this one, use the CAD coordinate system with name. So instead of just using the origin and the coordinate system from SolidWorks, we're gonna use the in coordinate system from name. And you can see that I've actually just given it a name here, which corresponds to one in my SOLIDWORKS file. Um, so what's gonna happen is, as soon as I open up SOLIDCAM on this part, it will assign Mac 1 position one to that particular coordinate system. If I don't call it this, then it won't actually use that coordinate system. So it just defaults to asking you for your Mac 1 position one. But let's say we do use the one that has this. Um, a good example of this is if you've modeled up your part with your vice, your clamps, your table, you've done the whole thing, and you're about to bring this in, even though we don't usually recommend to start with an assembly, Let's say there's something about that assembly that you need to start from it, or it's a collection of parts. And now you want to use a specific origin that you've defined in your part. Well, that's what I've done here. I've actually sketched this, this set of uh, coordinates here, and I've assigned that as my coordinate system and labeled it, use this coordinate system. So as soon as I go into tools, solid cam, new milling, we'll see that as soon as I open up my solid cam part file, Can read from my SOLIDWORKS file that I told it to use that particular coordinate system. So you can see my maximum position one is already defined for me. So this is useful if you've already done a lot of the design work, a lot of the setup work inside SOLIDWORKS, and then when you come in here, you wanted to just automatically grab that same coordinate system. Otherwise, what you would have had to have done is gone in and you can assign that same coordinate system if you said, select the coordinate system, and then grab it from the list. So essentially this right here is what was already done for us. So that's just an automatic version of this option right here. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension two. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com and stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.